As the economy reopens and consumers return to their initial ways of living, many investors are betting on the return of the travel industry. After all, these industries, the airlines, the cruise lines, hotels, restaurants, and basically the entire tourism industry were some of the hardest hit during the last year. So with the lifting of some of the restrictions of travel, some investors, such as Bill Ackman, are predicting a major surge in this area, citing pent-up demand. Today I will look into the potential for the companies surrounding these industries to surge, and I'll present both sides of the argument, the most bullish situation for the travel industry, as well as the most bearish. So to get started, let's look back at what just a horrendous last year this has been for the travel industry. You look at airlines, hotels, cruise lines, and the balance sheets and earnings reports are basically all in the same basket. Revenue down anywhere from 30% to 80%, sometimes even lower. Earnings for any of these companies were basically all in the negative for the last year. And let's be honest, the only reason a lot of these companies still exist is because of all of the bailouts that occurred throughout the spring and summer of 2020. So right now, on the basis of their balance sheets and annual earnings reports, the future for these companies looks pretty bleak. So bleak, in fact, that Warren Buffett sold all of his holdings in all four major U.S. airlines back in mid-last year. So that indicates that at least Warren Buffett himself was scared and sold many of these positions at a massive loss, and apparently he stated that it was because his original thesis was proven incorrect and that this industry would be permanently changed. Now, as to whether or not it is fa in fact permanently changed remains to be seen, but it at least says something that the Oracle of Omaha was uh, apparently very scared about his positions in all four major U.S. airlines. So to examine the most bullish argument and get, you know, to where we currently are, we need to look at what has happened since Buffett sold, and that is that these stocks he sold uh, have actually gone up, and some have gone up a considerable amount since then. Southwest Airlines, for example, has proven to be the most bullish since that time, and it has rallied back to where it was prior to COVID. Now, one of the investors who has been bullish on these industries since Buffett sold is Bill Ackman and he has bought heavily into Hilton Worldwide Holdings, Starbucks, and Chipotle. So this uh, doesn't entirely cover the travel industry, um, but at least several parts of it. And Bill Ackman refers to all of the stimulus and you know, consumer spending, hopefully, that is going to be coming soon, as well as just all of the infrastructure spending and the reopening of the economy as a reason to be bullish. So the way... I see the most bullish uh, scenario behind the travel and leisure industry is that most major countries need to reopen and they need to get rid of any potential uh, discouraging incentives that would discourage people from traveling. Uh, a good example of this would be Hawaii requiring people to remain in quarantine for two weeks upon arriving. Um, and I just, you know, thinking for myself, as long as that requirement stays in place, there's no reason I would choose to go there, just to sit around in a hotel for two weeks. Um, I would, that for me is a complete, you know, I would not even try to go there. So all of these restrictions and basically incentives to not travel would need to be lifted for travel to really pick up and get back to where it was prior to COVID. And secondly, another factor that needs to go smoothly for this side of the argument is that uh, consumer spending and consumer behavior needs to return to what it was before. And people need to not have changed very many of their habits. They need to still want to travel and they need to want to experience all these different places and to have all the different food and amenities that they wanted before. They need to have money to be able to do these kinds of vacations. They need to be the same frivolous spenders that they were before. Um, and this industry, to a large extent, was built on people spending more than they could afford and living outside of their means. So that needs to remain unchanged in order to come back as strong as it was before COVID. So I've presented the conditions that need to be present for the industry to recover very strongly. Now I'll present the more bearish side that it appears Warren Buffett is on uh, that would say, you know, hey, let's be a little more cautious about this. I'm not sure if this is a reasonable thing for all of these cruise lines, airlines, hotels, restaurants, uh, you name it, to get back to full capacity, or even to get back to 80% of where they were before. You know, first of all, people are worse off financially now than they were a year ago. And even though record amounts of stimulus have been passed, most of this will not go into the hands of consumers. Just look at all the, you know, recent stimulus bill that was finally passed. You know, it's a total of $1.9 trillion. 
And if this were all divided among every person who is a citizen of the United States, that would be over $5,000 per person. You know, that's including everybody, adults, uh, children, everybody. Uh, but instead, only approximately 9% of that $1.9 trillion is going directly into the hands of consumers. So people on this side of the camp would point out that this, you know, $1,400 check that some adults are receiving is not going to be much of a boost. You know, if anything, the people who are receiving it are going to save it or, you know, spend it on more necessary expenditures such as their rent or their mortgage if they're behind on their mortgage or even just basic items such as food. Or, you know, since they're just so scared in the last year, they're probably going to be much uh, more savers than they have historically been. And don't forget, record numbers of people have used food banks and still are using food banks. And these people aren't the typical recipients of these programs. In some cases, they're the laid-off lawyers or engineers or doctors who were living outside of their means prior to all of this and who all of a sudden found themselves unable to pay for their food. So even though consumers have record amounts of savings, this does not necessarily mean that they want to spend it right now. And this side of caution that Warren Buffett would be on, uh, you know, might point out all of the people who are unemployed or who are currently on mortgage forbearance. So bottom line from this side is just a caution and looking at all of the signs out there and assuming that there probably won't be a return to the level of spending for travel that there was before, at least for a few more years until consumers really begin to gain more confidence again. So here are both of these arguments for, you know, regarding all of these stocks surrounding the travel industry, whether it be all these different airlines that you've been asking about, um, Delta, American Airlines, Southwest Airlines, United, or any of these cruise lines, you know, Norwegian cruise lines or Carnival cruise lines. I just see them all basically in this same basket, and sure there are better uh, value ones than others. There are definitely ones that I would look into buying uh, over others, but I, yeah, I think they all just fit into this category. And you know, regardless of what you decide to do, um, you need to kind of assess these questions I've just asked regarding consumer uh, behavior, consumer confidence. You know, is that really going to come back very quickly? Um, there are certainly good arguments to be made for both sides um, for the quick and sharp recovery and then for the prolonged stagnation in this industry. And whatever decision you make is ultimately up to you. Uh, so I hope you really enjoyed this video. If you want to hear more videos like this, just consider subscribing. I really like to talk about overall success in investing as well as going against the crowd, as the title of my channel implies. And also let me know what you would like to hear about, and I will take a look into that, and I hope you have a great day.